Pedestrian modelling is critical to the station design process, but also critical for elevating the passenger experience and making sure passengers are at the forefront of that design process. So we work closely with the architects, the structural engineers, the geotech engineers and others to space proof the stations through the platforms, through the escalators, the concourses and entrances so that they could accommodate the massive pedestrian movements that will be occurring. So in pedestrian planning, the way we assess stations is we use pedestrian modelling software, and that's a digital tool that simulates all the people movement through the stations in 3D. And that was used extensively across all five stations. The pedestrian modelling unlocked design opportunities for each of the stations by building huge models really early on in the process. And that allowed us to experiment with station entrance locations to make sure that they were fit for purpose and integrated into the surrounding precincts. The benefits of pedestrian modelling for station users is that it puts passengers first. We're able to do that in a powerful way with a powerful digital tool that really influenced the design and resulted in changes to the design that were better for passengers. My hope when people enter the station is to feel a sense of awe. I want people to feel comfortable as they move through the station. That's from a safety perspective, but also just from an experience. I expect these stations are going to elevate the expectations of people in Melbourne for what a station can and should be. And that will continue from now and many decades ahead.